One minute ago. The tragedy of Miranda Lambert is so sad. Miranda Lambert was born on November 10, 1983, in Longview, Texas, and raised in the small town of Lindale. Growing up in a modest family, Lambert was introduced to the world of music at an early age by her parents, Rick and Bev Lambert. Both her parents were private detectives, which added an unusual twist to her upbringing. Despite the challenging circumstances of her childhood, which included financial difficulties, Miranda's exposure to the hardships her family faced would later influence her songwriting, giving her music its gritty realism and heartfelt emotion. Her father, a country guitarist and songwriter himself, was instrumental in fostering Miranda's musical talents. He taught her to play the guitar, and they would often perform together, allowing young Miranda to explore her love for traditional country music as well as folk, southern rock, and blues. This fusion of styles shaped her distinctive sound and laid the foundation for her future success as a singer-songwriter. Lambert's early exposure to country greats like Willie Nelson, Merle Haggard, and Emmy Lou Harris deeply influenced her style. She idolized these artists not only for their unique sound but also for their storytelling prowess, a characteristic that would become central to her own music. At age 16, she got her first taste of performing when she appeared on the Texas talent show, Johnny High's Country Music Review, which had also launched the careers of artists like Leanne Rimes. Inspired by this experience, Lambert began performing in local Texas bars and venues, honing her craft as a live performer. She learned to captivate audiences with her powerful voice and the raw honesty of her lyrics, a combination that would later become her signature. After high school, Lambert's determination to make it in the music industry led her to Nashville, the heart of country music. However, disillusioned by the highly polished pop country sound dominating the industry, she returned to Texas, where she began crafting a more authentic, rebellious sound that combined traditional country elements with modern rock influences. She started writing songs about heartbreak, empowerment, and the struggles of everyday life, themes that resonated deeply with her growing fan base. In 2003, Lambert's big break came when she auditioned for the talent competition show Nashville Star, a country version of American Idol. Though she finished third, her performance on the show attracted the attention of major record labels, and she signed with Sony Music. Her debut album, Kerosene, released in 2005, was a commercial and critical success, reaching number one on the Billboard Top Country Albums chart. The album's title track, along with hits like Me and Charlie Talking, Bring Me Down, established Lambert as a fresh and fiery voice in country music. Her rebellious image, combined with her strong songwriting abilities, made her stand out from the more polished, pop-oriented artists at the time. Kerosene was certified platinum, and Miranda Lambert had officially arrived as a force to be reckoned with in the country music scene. Lambert followed the success of Kerosene with a string of hit albums, including Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, 2007, and Revolution. 2009. These albums solidified her reputation as a fearless artist willing to push boundaries. Songs like Gunpowder and Lead and The House That Built Me showcased her ability to balance tough, gritty narratives with moments of vulnerability and introspection. Her songwriting continued to evolve as she explored themes of independence, resilience, and female empowerment, which resonated with both critics and fans alike. In 2011, Lambert formed the country trio Pistol Annies with fellow artists Ashley Monroe and Angelina Presley. The group's music embraced a raw, stripped-down sound that paid homage to classic country, and their debut album Hell on Heels was widely praised for its wit, sass, and authenticity. The Pistol Annies allowed Lambert to explore a different side of her artistry, and their success further cemented her status as one of the most versatile and talented performers in country music. Her 2014 album Platinum won a Grammy Award for Best Country Album, further demonstrating her growing influence in the industry. Songs like Automatic and Little Red Wagon became anthems, celebrating both nostalgia and independence. Platinum was an expansive record, blending humor, heartache, and reflection, and it showcased Lambert's maturity as an artist. Miranda Lambert's personal life has been as public and widely followed as her professional career often making headlines and sparking interest among fans and media alike. 
Her high-profile marriage to fellow country music star Blake Shelton put the couple in the spotlight, with the two often being dubbed country music royalty. Their relationship became a central narrative in both their careers, with fans fascinated by the pairing of two of country music's biggest stars. The couple's dynamic was frequently highlighted in interviews, public appearances, and even their music, with many seeing them as a modern power couple in the genre. They were often photographed together on red carpets and celebrated as a rare example of two country icons building a life and career in tandem. However, after four years of marriage, Shelton and Lambert announced their divorce in 2015, a separation that shocked their fans and the entertainment world at large. The split was highly publicized, with rumors and speculation about the reasons behind it circulating widely. For Lambert, this period was not just a public ordeal but also an intensely personal and painful time. She later admitted that it was one of the most difficult experiences of her life, a period marked by heartbreak, emotional turmoil, and soul-searching. The impact of the divorce was so profound that it influenced her music in a significant way, leading to the creation of her 2016 double album, The Weight of These Wings, which is widely considered one of her most personal and introspective works. The Weight of These Wings was a departure from some of Lambert's earlier, more traditional country hits, as it delved deep into themes of loss, vulnerability, and self-discovery. The album was praised not just for its musicality but for its raw honesty, as it laid bare the emotional journey Lambert had undergone in the wake of her divorce. Songs like Vice and Tin Man became particularly emblematic of this shift in tone with Vice addressing the complex emotions that come with seeking comfort and unhealthy habits after a breakup, and Tin Man exploring the idea of emotional numbness and longing for a heart that feels less pain. Through these songs, Lambert revealed a more contemplative and vulnerable side of herself, gaining even more respect from fans and critics alike for her willingness to channel such personal anguish into her art. Shortly after her divorce from Shelton, Lambert's personal life again became a subject of public fascination. In December 2015, it was confirmed that she was dating R.B. singer Anderson East, whom she had met at Nashville's Live on the Green Music Festival in September of that year. Their relationship seemed to be a positive turn for Lambert, and the couple was frequently seen together at events and on social media. East, who was from a different musical background, appeared to bring a fresh dynamic to Lambert's life and their romance attracted attention for its seeming contrast to her previous relationship with Shelton. During this time, Lambert made another major life change, purchasing a 400-plus acre farm near Prim Springs, Tennessee, for $3.4 million. The sprawling property, with its three residences and expansive land, symbolized Lambert's retreat into a more private and peaceful lifestyle, far from the chaos of her public persona. However, in April 2018, News broke that Lambert and East had quietly ended their relationship months earlier, after two years of dating. The breakup came as a surprise to many, as the couple had appeared happy and stable, but Lambert later hinted that the relationship had simply run its course. Not long after, Lambert's romantic life once again took center stage when it was revealed that she had started dating Evan Felker, the frontman of the band Turnpike Troubadours, in February 2018. Their relationship sparked controversy when Felker's estranged wife, Stacy, publicly alleged that he had left her suddenly to be with Lambert. The drama surrounding this love triangle drew widespread media attention, adding to the ongoing narrative of Lambert's tumultuous love life. By August 2018, however, Lambert and Felker had broken up, with Lambert stating in interviews that she was happy being single. Despite the ups and downs in her personal life, Miranda Lambert has remained a beloved figure in country music. Her ability to remain authentic and down-to-earth, even in the face of such public scrutiny, has endeared her to fans. She has built a reputation not just as a talented songwriter and performer, but as someone who is unapologetically herself, embracing both her flaws and her strengths. In 2019, Lambert surprised her fans by announcing that she had married Brendan McLaughlin, a former New York City police officer, in a private ceremony. The couple had met just months earlier, and their whirlwind romance was kept largely out of the public eye until they revealed the news of their marriage. This new chapter in Lambert's life seemed to bring her a sense of peace and happiness, as she spoke glowingly of her new husband and the life they were building together.
Lambert's openness about her personal struggles, including her divorces and breakups, has only deepened her connection with her fans. Her willingness to share both the highs and lows of her life, whether through her music or in interviews, has made her a source of inspiration for many who admire her resilience and authenticity. Even as she continues to evolve as an artist and a person, Lambert's core identity, rooted in honesty, vulnerability, and strength, remains unchanged. Her journey, both personal and professional, stands as a testament to her enduring spirit and her ability to turn life's challenges into art that resonates with millions. Miranda Lambert admits touring with Toby Keith wasn't easy. Early in her career, Miranda Lambert had the opportunity to open for country legend Toby Keith, an experience she has since described as a challenging one. Lambert was still relatively new to the music scene, and touring with a superstar like Keith brought its own set of difficulties. In a recent interview, Lambert reflected on those early days of her career, admitting that while it was an honor to share the stage with such an iconic figure, the pressure to perform at her best every night was immense. Keith's larger-than-life persona and his status as one of the biggest names in country music at the time made the experience both a blessing and a trial for a young artist trying to find her footing. Lambert recalled how daunting it was to open for someone as well-established as Keith, whose fans were deeply loyal and often came to the shows primarily to see him. She felt the weight of needing to impress audiences who might not have been familiar with her music yet, all while learning the ropes of touring on a massive scale. It wasn't easy, Lambert admitted, but it was a huge learning experience, and I wouldn't trade it for anything. The grueling schedule, the pressure to perform, and the sheer magnitude of the tour pushed Lambert to her limits, but it also helped shape her into the powerhouse artist she is today. Toby Keith's death rocked country music. In June 2022, Toby Keith shocked the world of country music when he revealed that he had been diagnosed with stomach cancer. The beloved, Red Solo Cup, singer had been privately battling the disease since the fall of 2021, choosing to keep the diagnosis out of the public eye for as long as possible. Keith, known for his robust image, patriotic anthems, and a career that spanned over three decades, showed remarkable resilience during his fight with cancer. His fans were left heartbroken but inspired when he continued to perform and make appearances despite his illness. One of the most memorable moments of his final year was his appearance at the 2023 People's Choice Country Awards, where he was honored with the Country Icon Award. Keith, visibly weakened but determined, delivered an emotional performance of Don't Let the Old Man In, a song that had gained new significance in light of his health struggles. The audience was moved to tears as Keith sang the poignant lyrics, which spoke to the battle between the body and the spirit, a theme that resonated deeply given his circumstances. Unbeknownst to many, that performance would be Toby Keith's last public appearance. In February 2024, the country music world was devastated to learn that Keith had passed away after a courageous battle with stomach cancer. He was only 62 years old, and his death marked the end of an era. Fans and fellow artists alike mourned the loss of one of country music's most distinctive voices. Keith's legacy, however, lives on in the countless hits he left behind and in the hearts of those who admired his strength, both on and off the stage. Toby Keith. A young Miranda Lambert toured with him. For a young Miranda Lambert, touring with Toby Keith was a pivotal moment in her burgeoning career. At the time, Lambert was an up-and-coming artist who had just begun to make waves in the country music scene. Her debut album, Kerosene, had only just introduced her to a wider audience, and she was still honing her craft and her sound. Being chosen as an opener for Toby Keith, a giant in the industry with chart-topping hits like Courtesy of the Red, White and Blue, and As Good As I Once Was, was both a tremendous opportunity and an intimidating challenge. Keith's tours were known for their scale and high energy, and Lambert found herself performing in front of massive crowds many of whom were unfamiliar with her music. As a new artist, this was both a blessing and a trial by fire. Every night, she had to win over an audience that was primarily there to see Keith. Lambert often spoke about how she felt the need to prove herself, not just to the fans, but to the seasoned professionals around her, including Keith himself. The experience was invaluable, as it toughened her up and taught her the ins and outs of life on the road. Looking back, 
Lambert credits the tour with helping her grow as a performer. Toby was larger than life, she once said in an interview. He was the kind of performer who could command a room with just his presence, and I learned so much from watching him do what he did best. The experience also exposed her to the realities of the music business, the long hours, the grueling travel schedule, and the need to constantly deliver top-tier performances, no matter the circumstances. It was a baptism by fire that helped Lambert develop the tenacity and work ethic that would later define her career. Now, two decades later, Lambert is one of the biggest names in country music, with multiple awards and a string of hit albums to her name. Her time on tour with Toby Keith is often seen as one of the critical moments in her rise to stardom, a time when she learned firsthand what it takes to become a legend in the world of country music. In March 2023, Miranda Lambert made a significant career decision when she announced her departure from Sony Music Nashville, marking the end of a nearly two-decade partnership with the label. Lambert's relationship with Sony had spanned 19 years, during which she had established herself as one of the most successful and critically acclaimed country music artists of her generation. Since signing with the label in 2004, Lambert released numerous chart-topping albums and singles that cemented her place in country music history. Hits like, The House That Built Me, and Mama's Broken Heart, resonated with fans for their raw emotionality and sharp lyricism, a trademark of Lambert's artistry. Her exit from Sony Music Nashville was a momentous shift, signaling her readiness for new ventures and creative freedom. As a mainstay in the country music world, her departure left fans and industry insiders alike curious about what the next phase of her career might entail. Lambert expressed her gratitude for her time at Sony, acknowledging the role the label had played in her rise to fame, but she was also candid about her excitement for new opportunities and growth beyond the constraints of her longtime label. In April 2024, just over a year after parting ways with Sony, Miranda Lambert announced an exciting new chapter in her career. She revealed that she had signed a joint record deal with Republic Records and Big Loud, a move that showcased her intention to expand her musical horizons. Republic Records, known for its diverse roster of artists across various genres, opened new doors for Lambert in terms of reaching broader audiences. Meanwhile, Big Loud, a label with deep roots in country music, was entrusted with handling country radio promotion and marketing. This combination of Republic's influence and Big Loud's expertise in country music set the stage for a fresh yet strategic approach to Lambert's career. The deal signified Lambert's desire to balance her country roots with the possibility of exploring new musical directions. Fans were eager to see how this new partnership would shape her sound and style moving forward. Industry experts speculated that this deal could allow Lambert to further push the boundaries of country music, blending genres and experimenting with new creative ventures without losing the authenticity that had endeared her to fans. As part of this new era, Lambert also revealed that she would be releasing her first single under the joint contract. Titled Wranglers, the song was officially released on May 3, 2024, and served as the lead single for her upcoming 10th studio album, Postcards from Texas. Wranglers was highly anticipated, with fans and critics alike speculating about its sound and lyrical content. The single's title hinted at Lambert's love for rural life and Western culture which had been recurring themes throughout her discography. Upon its release, Wranglers quickly became a fan favorite, with its catchy melodies, clever lyrics, and Lambert's signature blend of grit and vulnerability. The song drew praise for its nostalgic yet empowering tone, reminding listeners of why Lambert had remained a force in country music for nearly two decades. Wranglers captured the essence of Lambert's artistry, her ability to tell stories that were both deeply personal and universally relatable. It set the tone for Postcards from Texas, an album that promised to reflect Lambert's journey and growth as both an artist and a... In addition to Wranglers, Lambert continued to build excitement for Postcards from Texas with the release of a promotional single. On June 28, 2024, she dropped Damn It Randy, a fiery, playful track that showed off her wit and sense of humor. What made Damn It Randy particularly special was that Lambert co-wrote it with her husband, Brendan McLaughlin. The song gave fans a glimpse into their relationship dynamic, with its tongue-in-cheek lyrics and light-hearted vibe. Lambert had often written about love and heartbreak in her previous work, 
but this collaboration with McLaughlin provided a fresh perspective on her personal life. The couple's creative chemistry was evident in the song, which balanced humor with authenticity, making it a standout in her discography. Dammit Randy was not only a reflection of Lambert's personal happiness, but it also showcased her willingness to experiment with her sound and collaborate with those closest to her. Fans embraced the track for its playful nature and viewed it as a testament to Lambert's evolving artistry. Together, Wranglers and Damn It Randy provided an exciting preview of what was to come with postcards from Texas. The album, expected to be released later in 2024, promised to be one of Lambert's most personal and reflective projects yet. With her new record deal and the creative freedom that came with it, Miranda Lambert was ready to enter the next phase of her career, proving once again why she remained a beloved figure in country music and beyond.